Hey chicas, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my own colored acrylics and glow in the dark. So yeah, you guys, um, let's begin here. As you can see, I already have like everything laid down, everything I'm, that I'm going to be using. Right here I have my pigments. These I found them on Amazon. I was watching Lara or Laura Nail Couture. I love her channel and um, if you guys haven't heard of her go ahead and check her channel out you're gonna love them you're gonna love her and her designs so yeah you guys I saw her that she did you know a whole bunch of uh, mixes go in the dark and I wanted to try it out myself so I went ahead and bought you know the um, the pigments that she had used and stuff because I really wanted to try them I uh, personally don't own glow in the dark acrylics I believe I have like two or three of them like at the most they're from glamming glitz so yeah you guys I really wanted to try it myself but if you got it if you, if you guys haven't heard of her channel go ahead and give her all your love and support because I love her channel you guys I love it anyway moving on uh, these are the three colors that I'm gonna be mixing you guys it's mango pear and cherry so I'm just gonna be um, pouring the well each color onto my mortal and pestle in order for me to do that i'm just gonna add a little bit of uh crystal clear acrylic the one that i'm using is the one from nsi you guys know that i use the nsi one for everything so i'm just i think i just added about five scoops of um crystal clear and then i'm gonna add my pigment now initially I was gonna just add about two or three scoops of the of the um of the pigment, I'm sorry. <laughs> but then I'm like, no, it's gonna be too well me I thought that it was gonna turn out to be more like translucent and I didn't want my mix to be translucent. So I really wanted the color to show off and to be more opaque, like more on the opaque side instead of more translucent. So that's why I decided to add a whole bunch, well not a whole bunch, I added actually the whole baggie. So right here I'm just mixing and mixing and mixing you guys until all of the little crumbs dissolved into the acrylic and then i'm just gonna be swatching it here in my swatch stick um honestly you guys i freaking love this color i don't i don't think i have anything like this i don't own a color like this so um to me i was like wow um i really liked it just because like i said i don't have a color like this and you know um not especially not glow in the dark so i was really happy with how it came out um <clears throat> it's not patchy it's not um runny it's not nothing you guys it works perfect so this is i think if you're if you're beginning into barely starting into this whole nail world i think this is so perfect for you guys because you see all these acrylics all these companies all these you know things that you think that you might want to have i mean you gotta go on step by step when i first started i wanted everything i wanted everything all the colors out there you know every single um you know things that they had i wanted it but it's impossible you guys so um i think this is a great idea if you're beginning because you get to create your own acrylics and you know down the line you're gonna be like wow i created that like you know and i still have like acrylics that i created when i first began and i'm like wow i can't believe i did this and you know it just brings back old memories because even though i'm not a i'm not a newbie in this um i love creating my own acrylics i love creating my own glitter mixes i love creating you guys i i do like it so like i said um if you're a beginner this is perfect for you guys because you don't get to spend a whole bunch of money and um you know you get a you get a good amount of uh, acrylic you know you don't have to spend a whole lot like i said uh this little um package came out to be like 14 dollars, i believe on amazon i don't remember you guys but i will have the link in the information in the in the description box i'm sorry and um like i said like they're so inexpensive 
uh, just buy your acrylic and just mix them and this is it you guys um, I really I really like how they turned out like I said at the beginning I don't have glow in the dark powders uh, or acrylics that's why I was really excited to to get to do these acrylics because um, I really like how they look at night how they glow in the dark you know like I said I don't have anything like that so to me it was great it was an awesome idea so I did buy a powder off of Aliexpress a long time ago but it's just white so um, in order for me to do a glow in the dark um, acrylic mix I would have to use other you know colored pigments in order for me to get a colored acrylic glow in the dark so you know I thought these were great because it has the color and the glow in the dark incorporated you know both of them together and you get the color and the glow in the dark so it's awesome you guys I really like how everything turned out um, I wanted to do a lime green uh, just because I don't have a lime, a lime I'm sorry a lime green on my collection um, I'm not a big fan of greens that's why I don't really use greens or buy greens you know acrylic green acrylics so yeah you guys um they're very easy to use um like i said i didn't have any problems trying to pick up a bead of this um i thought they were so perfect and they are quite pigmented because um this is a little container that it came out uh it's i think it's like 10 grams of acrylic so you know you're not gonna get you you're not gonna use 10 grams on a client you know what i mean so i think you're gonna get a pretty good amount of use on each color that you're gonna be making so yes now i'm gonna be doing the pink which is called cherry um i'm just doing the same thing you guys i added five spoons of clear onto each of the color and then i poured in the pink um, and then I went ahead and just mixed it in my mortal and pestle trying to you know dissolve any little lumps that the pigment might have which it did but with the mortal and pestle it's super easy to use you guys it just dissolves everything in there um, just try to mix as well as you can so I did I didn't have any problems with any of the acrylics you guys or any of the pigments the yellow or the orange I don't I'm not really sure the mango <laughs> the green and the pink all three of them swatched perfect so I really did like how they all looked um, I've seen the glow-in-the-dark ones from glam and glitz they're super expensive you guys I think uh, they're like 10 bucks up to like 12 or 13 dollars on eBay or Amazon so to me I mean uh, that is so expensive just for you to buy a small jar or one ounce jar I think that is really expensive um, so like I said before, if you're a beginner, I think this is perfect for you guys. Or if, even if you're not, um, like I said, I love creating and making my own mixes. So um, I thought this is a super, you know, inexpensive to create your own. Um, like I said, I don't have um, a whole bunch of uh, glow-in-the-dark acrylics just because of, of, of that, you guys. They're super expensive. Sometimes I think that they're, you know over the top they're so expensive so um i think i'm gonna create more i just created these three but i'm gonna create more you guys with the rest of the colors that or the pigments that i came so this is what they look like i think my favorite one is the green so i don't know you guys you tell me and tell me what you guys think um <clears throat> again i'm gonna have everything in the description box where i got the pigments and stuff even the little containers because these containers come handy if you don't want to create a you know a lot of mix if you want a small mix these are perfect because they're like 10 or 15 or 20 grams so they're perfect so this is what they look like um after i brought them out of the lamp they glow in the dark super super nice you guys i really like them and um like i said the ones from glamming glitz are expensive and they don't you know they don't glow in the dark as much these were lighting up like crazy so yes guys um i really hope you guys enjoy it and again everything will be in the description in the description box 
um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. So I'll leave you guys to it. Thank you again for being here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, you guys. Bye-bye.